Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is some of my ingredients for today. I will be making cube steak, you guys. I'm gonna get these pots to jump in. I went to Walmart this morning, I got some pans. I also got me a new pot. So yeah, y'all, let's jump right on in it. <music> jumping I'm going to add some oil to my pot I'm going to add in my leftover ham from Easter that I had frozen in my freezer and we gonna get these pots jumping y'all now I'm adding in my onion and my bell peppers everything is smelling amazing you guys I'm going to toss around my bell pepper, onions, and ham. My, 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 it smells delicious. And then I'm going to add in my collard greens, guys, and get those all welded down and ready to go. We're going to give them a quick little toss around, and we're going to add the lid right on. Just removing the lid, guys, tossing it around a little bit. I'm going to add in some vegetable broth, guys. Oh, my goodness. Talking about good. Then I'm going to add in a splash of vinegar along with my seasonings. Y'all, it smells amazing. Mm -hmm. all my seasonings in the description box below you guys everything I use so just keep rolling with me here I am with my cube steak you guys and I'm gonna season both sides really well and we're gonna get these pots to jumping there's not much to do I'm just tossing my steak around and season flour. Make sure you coat both sides. Make sure that your oil is really hot. You don't want your batter to stick. Don't overcrowd your pots. Let your steak cook two to three minutes on each side until it forms that nice crust on each side. I don't want to care It's being alone. I'm going to flip them you guys Do you see that nice crust I was telling you about And you don't want your steak to cook all the way through It will finish in the oven
Let's make the gravy for the steak. In my bowl, I have one can of cream of mushroom soup. I'm adding in now some Lipton soup dip mix along with some browning, some beef broth. You add as much as broth as you would like. I like my gravy kind of thin, not too thick. So you just add in how much you prefer and you add in your seasoning. And you continue to mix well until you like it. Your desire. No one can tell you how to cook in your kitchen. You cook what you know your family will eat. I live by that. I had to add in some more beef broth. It was a little too thick for me, guys. And I just kept whipping, whipping, whipping in the kitchen. <laughs> Y'all have fun in the kitchen. I enjoy it. Long as my kids gonna eat, I'm good. Y'all have fun doing what you love to do. Okay, you guys, I'm going to add in some butter, some onion, and bell peppers. I'm going to let my onion and bell pepper get a little bit soft, not too soft like I'm trying to saute them, just a little soft before I add in my gravy mixture that I just made. My bell pepper and onion are looking really good. So I'm going to add in my gravy mixture and stir it around really well and get ready for my cube steak. I'm going to mix it well, you guys, and we're going to pour it right in. Here's my cube steak, you guys, and we're just going to put that gravy all over it. Make sure everything get coated well. I'm going to place some aluminum foil over and throw it in the oven, you guys. Can't wait. Here I am with some butter. I'm going to allow it to melt. And then I'm going to add in some brown sugar, some white sugar, some cumin, some nutmeg, vanilla asterisk, some cinnamon, and we're going to let this caramelize to go on my candy yams. My sauce is ready. So guys, let's pour it on these yams, baby, and get them in the oven. Okay, guys, I was supposed to make muffins. I cannot find my muffin pan. I don't know where it is. But anyways, I'm just going to make it in the form of cornbread. Let's check these collard greens. They're looking amazing. They're actually finished, you guys, but I like to put some extra seasoning on mine. So that's all I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. 
Let's check that cube steak. It look and smells amazing. I think my candy yams are also ready. So let's look at them also. Look at that, guys. Perfection. Everybody knows to a cup of rice is a cup of water. You're going to have perfect rice every time. My muffin cornbread is ready and my cube steak is also ready, you guys. So let's get a piece and let me show y'all how tender it is. Look at that cube steak, guys. Let's see. I'm just going to barely touch it with my fork. Look at that. Yes, that's how you want your steak to be. I'm all finished, you guys. Thanks for stopping by my channel. And to all my new subscribers, hello. Welcome to the family. I hope you all enjoy what you see. Catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell for whenever your girl upload. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.